Hello. Once again, Stephanie Chamberlain here doing a video um, for the Ad ICDL Advanced Spreadsheets Qualification. I'm using Excel 2016 to demonstrate, but you can obviously use Office 365. There are very minor differences. Um, so what this, this video is going to be looking at is the syllabus with regards to uh, advanced filtering. So lots of things you can do. You can have the uh, normal list uh, filtering, but there's other things where you can pull out a lot more criteria um, and find out information, get it filtered so that you can see it either within the uh, original or filtered to be um, extracted into a place of its own. So lots of stuff here that might be useful other than the exam. So if you're watching it for other reasons, I hope you enjoy too. This example is how we'd use advanced filtering. So if you go into the data tab, you can find the advanced filter in the sort and filter group. And the advanced filters there. You'll notice that a couple of things we may not notice, but one thing I think you will notice is that there's a headings at the top and an area where I put some criteria. Just like you sort of would in, a, in an access query, you put it under the field and that's the information that you're drawing out. And in this case, filtering. OK, so we want to filter in this data here administration that is less than five days absent as over here so administration staff who have been absent less than five days so we want to give them a bonus for doing that i've highlighted the yellow just so you can see it in action the other thing is that it we need to click in the data before we can do anything then we need to go to the um, advanced Make sure that the list range is the data, like the survey type data, the larger amount of data. Drop that down. The criteria range is where you've placed the information under the headings we've got separately up there. And then when we OK, it will filter accordingly and draw out everyone that's had an absence within administration for less than five days. So quite um, quick and useful and then there's a clear at the top of here where you can clear and take you back to your recent data let's have another go at the next tab along filtering too let's think about what we'd have to do to answer this so the first thing is i make sure i've got my headings across the top i'm going to make life easier and copy computer services because and paste it in there because that's what it wants all computer services staff who have been absent less than and including two days. So my criteria for absence would be less than and equal to two because it's including the two. So it has to meet both those criteria to filter that information for me. So then I'd go to my, clicking my data, go to my advanced. Luckily it's picked up that table already for me because I've been on it before. The criteria, however, I will have to um, highlight and note how I highlight all of the criteria, whether it has um, its headings and its criteria, whether it has information or not. And then OK, and you can see that filters that um, beautifully there. So that's a quick way of finding lots of information. There's a couple of little extra bits on there that you can play with, but that's the gist of it. However, there is a lot more to advanced filtering that we're going to look at next. Let's close that and don't save. So there you go, more advanced filtering, the next folder, number four. So we're going to open up more advanced filtering. And we're going to look at the different ways that you can use it other than the one way that I've shown you, which is just straightforward and an and. So in this one, we've just got a very simple um, filter. If we go to the data tab, is it filtered? Can we see it down here in the filter mode? If I hover on there, there is a filter applied to this sheet. So we can actually clear it, and there we go, it's not there. So let's change the data this time, and we're looking for totals, which I only have one in there, less than 500. So we want totals less than 500 filtered. Click in the data as you have before, advanced, it's already picked it up. Onto the criteria, highlight that. 
criteria range. OK, and then you can see that it's fixed that. Next one, and. So it's just another and one, but it, it's got two lots of data that we had in the first one. We looked at this and we went to, to do it. We've got our data, we've got our criteria, and we're OK, and nothing happens. And as I've got on here, I'm asking you, is there something wrong with this? Because if it's not worked, it's obviously a common problem. And this could happen in a test particularly because your mind's not totally on things. It's because I put my criteria in the wrong heading. Oops. Sorry, copy, paste. And if it is in the wrong heading, it's not going to work. So let's make sure our data is clear. Click in there again, advanced. Pick that up for the right date, drop it down, OK, and then that's filtered. OK, so be careful that things are in the right place. So an and is on the same row under the headings. An or, however, on the next one, is on separate rows under the headings to meet the and or the or. And you would do this sometimes in a database if you had two lots of um, data that you wanted to or criteria you wanted to draw. So this isn't filtered, you can see it's clear. So we're going to click in the data, onto advanced, onto there, highlight the information, the criteria area, and OK. And there it's filtered and a lot didn't really happen. So let's clear it. Let's try some different. So we're going to do less than. So obviously it's something that's already set up. Less than 21st of the 12th, 2003 and not including the 21st. And we're going to do some totals greater than 7.0. OK, back into the data advanced. There, it's OK. Our criteria, pick that up. OK, this time we're going to extract the data and put it at the bottom. That's the filtered data. So if we do a copy to another location, they call it extract. And then you click on the copy to there so you know where you're going to put it. Let's put it in the A18. Drop that down and OK. And then your filtered data is below the original data, which I always find much more useful, but everyone's different. Um, so if it's not a snapshot and you want to keep it for a bit longer, extraction is always a useful tool. Between is where you have two lots, so it's between 300 and 500, that are opposite each other on the same, and they've both got the same heading, so note that. You can add headings. Not would be the one to watch for the exam particularly, um, not is two chevrons opposite each other, so the wide areas open and opposite one another. So let's have a look and see how we do this. So we've clicked in the data, that's picked up OK. Criteria range, highlight across, drop it down. We could extract it and copy it to here. OK, so we're in A17 onwards. OK, and you can see that there is no greens in that data. Try this yourself where you've got two lots. Um, so what you need to do is have a little think about it. But what you need is two lots of this, but they've got to be on the same row, haven't they? So we could just pop, copy that, pop company there. And we could do not and the one thing I do all the time is sometimes I put a space in like I did, which I don't need to. And I've, when I've done this, I've looked and I've picked up Jones and not the J because it's greens. So we be really careful. It's one of the only ones really there with the initial in front of it. So you can do a space for that because it's the same. So then you've got J Jones. So you click in your advanced data, click on there. Make sure your data is in the right place, which is there. And your criteria is across there. 
and once again we can extract it down to there and OK. And what should happen is you don't get any greens in there and you don't get any JJs either. So that's a way of doing more than one. And then you've got it there as the example of the more than one. And then you've got a not and an and. <laughs> you've got an example of a not or. And then the example of the extracted data. So lots of information there that you can sit and watch and also have a play with and make sure that you practice it yourself so you understand what it is you need to do to meet an advanced um, filter question.